I know what it is, but I'm not... I don't stand up to his expectations. I'm not quite enough for him. He's superior to me. Although I want this type of man, I'm afraid I won't have enough to attract him. Well, that's the first part of the sentence, and that might be a true one, because maybe he could be superior to you in some ways. Maybe he wouldn't be attracted to you, but that would never upset you if you were only saying that. I think he may be superior to me. Now, you're adding a second sentence to that, which is, if this is so, that would be awful. Well, not quite so extreme as that, because yeah. I've thought about that, too. It's usually, I've missed my chance again, because when I want to become... I want to show the very best of myself because I think I have self-confidence and I have enough to offer. Yeah. But when I get afraid like that, then I show all the bad qualities. I, I'm flip, I'm... Then I'm, I'm so much on the defensive that I can't show my good qualities. And it's like, I missed my chance again. There was a good opportunity to be close to this man and I loused it up again. All right, but even let's suppose you're saying that and I think you really are, but you must be saying something else too because if you were just saying hell, I missed my chance again, you'd say, all right, next time, I'll take advantage of what I learned this time and do it a little better. Now, you still must be saying, if you feel shame, embarrassment, shyness, that there's something pretty bad about your error in missing your chance again. I don't know if this follows in contact with what you're saying, but the thing I do feel is that I get suspicious then. Am I the type of woman that will only appeal to the ones that are not my type of guy anyway. Is there yeah. something wrong with me? Am I never going to find the kind of man I enjoy? I always seem to get the other ones. All right, now you're getting closer to what I'm talking about, because you're really saying, if I am this type of woman that none of these good, eligible males are going to appeal to, then that would be awful. I'd never get what I want, and that would really be something frightful. Isn't Plus, that? I don't like thinking of myself that way. I want to put myself on a higher standard. I don't like to think that I may be just an average Jane Doe. But let's just suppose for the sake of argument at the moment that that were so, right. that you were an average Jane Doe. Now, would that be so terrible? It would be inconvenient. It would be unpleasant. You wouldn't want it. But would you get an emotion like shyness, embarrassment, shame out of just believing that maybe I'm going to end up like Jane Doe? I don't know. Well, I don't think you could because you still would have to be saying on some level, as I think you've just said, and it would be very bad. It would be terrible. I would be a no good Nick if I were just well, Jane Doe. Well, I'd never get what I want. If I were just a Jane Doe, and if I'd have to accept that, I'd never get what I want, and I don't want to live the rest of my life with just icky men. Well, I it's want not to... necessarily so that you'd never. You really mean your chances would be reduced, because we know some icky girls who get some splendid men, don't oh, we? Oh, that's Yeah, right. you that's see, right. so you're generalizing there. You're saying it probably would be that I'd have a more difficult time, but then you're jumping to, therefore, I'd never get it all. You well, see the catastrophizing there that you jump to. Yes, but it feels that way to me at the time. It seems like forever. That's right, but isn't that a vote of non-confidence in you? An essential yes. vote of non-confidence? Yes. And the non-confidence is because you're saying, one, I don't want to miss out on things. I would like to get the kind of a man I want and be a, uh, in your words, superior kind of girl who gets a superior kind of man. Yes. But if I don't, then I'm practically on the other side of the chain completely a no good Nick, somebody who will never get anything that I want, which is quite an extreme away, isn't it? Yes. And that's what I call catastrophizing, taking a true statement, and there is a good deal of truth in what you're saying, if you didn't get the kind of a man you wanted, that it would be inconvenient, annoying, frustrating, which it really would be, and then saying, I'd never possibly get what I want, and even beyond that, you're really saying, and then I couldn't be a happy human being. Aren't you really saying that on yeah. some level? But let's just look at that. Let's just assume the worst, as Bertrand Russell once said years ago. Assume the worst, that you never got at all, for whatever the reasons may be, the kind of a man you want. Look at all the other things you could do in life to be happy. Well, I don't like the whole process. I don't even like as I'm going through it. I don't... All right, even if it wasn't a catastrophe, yeah. even if I didn't look at it as a catastrophe, I don't like the way I'm living right now. For example, when I meet somebody that I'm interested in that could have some potential, right away I find I'm not near as relaxed with him. I worry more, should I be friendly? Should I kiss him goodnight? Should I do this? If it's just a Joe Doe and I don't give a darn, I can be anything I want to be. I turn out to be more of a person when I'm not as concerned. I don't like the way I'm, uh, well, I, 
But yeah. you're not you're not merely concerned, you're over concerned. You're anxious. Because if you were just concerned, you'd do your best and you'd be saying to yourself, If I succeed, great. If I don't succeed, tough. Right now I won't get what I want. But you're over concerned or anxious. You're really saying again, that's what we said a moment ago, if I don't get what I want right now, I'll never get it. And that would be so awful that I've got to get it right now. That causes the anxiety, doesn't it? Yes, or else work toward it. Yes, but if, if you... If I don't get it right now, that's all right, but I want to feel like I'm working toward it. Yes, but you want a guarantee, I hear. My trained ears hear you saying I would like a guarantee of working towards it. And there are no certain... Well, no, Dr. Ellis, I, I don't know why I'm coming out that way. What I really mean is I want a step toward working toward it. Well, what's I stopping want... you? I don't know. I thought... Well, what I was hoping is whatever this is in me, why I don't seem to be attracting these kind of men, why I seem more on the defensive, why I seem more afraid... You could help me what it is I'm afraid of, so I won't do it so much. Well, my hypothesis is so far that what you're afraid of is not just failing with this individual man, which is really the only thing at issue when you go out with a new, and we're talking about eligible males now, we'll rule out the ineligible ones. You're not just afraid that you'll miss this one. You're afraid that you'll miss this one, and therefore you'll miss every other, and therefore you'll prove that you are really not up to getting what you want, and wouldn't that be awful? You're bringing in these catastrophes. Well, you sound more strong at it, but that's similar. I feel like this, this is silly if I keep this up. If you keep there's what something up? I'm doing. There's something I'm doing not to be as real a person with these men that I'm interested That's in. That's right. You're defeating your own ends by... I've done it again. Right. If I weren't so doggone anxious about trying to hook this guy, I could be more real. He's going to enjoy me more if I'm real anyway. So I'm only giving him the stinky part of me. Right. How can anybody I respect respect a, a chooch? And that's what I am when I don't really come through. But look how you just devalued yourself. Let's just suppose for the sake of argument, you kept giving the stinky part of you. Right. A human being, another person who's trying to get interested in you, might not like these attributes, these characteristics of you, but I don't think he's going to despise you as a person which no. you are really doing. I don't, I, I'm harder on myself than I think that's he is. That's exactly the point. He just doesn't like me. There's not enough to me. Right. And I say before, if people just didn't like you and you went through enough of them, and it would be hard to go through enough, but it would be possible, you'd eventually find one who did like you and whom you liked. But as long as you devalue yourself personally in your own eyes, you complicate the problem enormously and you're not focusing on how can I be myself, change the traits. If you, for example, had a, let us just say, a mangled arm, and you wouldn't accept your whole person, your being, because of this mangled arm, then you would focus so much on that mangled arm that you wouldn't be able to do things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. That's almost what I do, yes. Yes, that's you see, that's exactly so. You're taking a part of you, an arm, and focusing almost completely on that. In uh, Just to bring it down to our own conversation, you're taking a part of you, your shyness, your not being yourself with males, and focusing so much on that part that you're almost making the, it the whole of you. And you get a, an awful picture of your total self because of this defective part, and we're assuming, you and I, that it is defective. We're not glossing over and saying, no, you're doing all right. You're not doing that well. All right. Now, if you could accept yourself for the time being with this defective part, with these attributes, and not beat yourself over the head, as I feel you definitely are doing, then it becomes a relatively simple problem to work and practice, to work and practice against this negative attribute. In other words, let's get back to that now, how to be yourself. Let's just suppose for the moment that you really were fully accepting yourself with your failings. All right. You know you're going to go out, and you know you're going to screw up with the next man, the man after that, in all probability, but you're saying, all right, I have to go through a learning process. That's too bad. I won't be very good during this while, but I'll do it just as I would at ice skating where I'd have to fall on my neck for a few times before I learned to ice skate. Okay, now let's suppose that. Then, if that were so, if you were really accepting you, you'd go out, take the risks of being you. Because after all, if you do win one of these men, you have to be yourself. You're not winning them for a day. You're not winning them for a fair. I assume you want to marry one of these individuals eventually and be with but them a long time. But mostly a long relationship. I don't think so much yes. of marriage. It's a long all right, relationship. a long relationship in the course of which you couldn't act. So we don't want to give you some...